Hello everyone, um, another uh, pencil video, um, this time I'm going to focus on wooden pencils. Um, I wanted to show you guys um, a few of the um, pencils that I've um, uh, recently gotten and also tested. Um, some of these I got more recently than others, but um, bear with me here. Um, so these are just various ones. They don't really, some of the, th these don't really have any connection. Um, so I'm just gonna go through these and, and, uh, show you guys what they're like. So, let me first get a piece of paper. Um, I'll just use the sketchbook here. Um, I've already been kind of testing on it, so, um bear with me but this one is the oh this one i actually like it's because it's left-handed and uh i am left-handed um 2 hb 5000 goldfish autocrat so let's let's just test it right here you know what let's let's go to a new page um i've been sketching in this book um, not like full drawings, kind of just smaller ones. Um, I've done, I did some testing on that page right there. Kind of just basic sketches, honestly. I was trying to design a profile picture for, um, one of my other channels that, uh, might make some more videos on. So this is this one. The, the, um, Shastons. Quite a bit scratchy. I don't necessarily like that a lot. Um, and again, it's not really too dark. I would say it's more like an HB. But it's not, it's not too bad. Let's do that. That's a little bit easier to deal with. Um, let's try one that I know is dark. And I've tried this before. Um, this one I actually got at Daiso, um, and I was really happy to find it because I don't have really any Kitaboshi branded pencils. Kind of on the same, uh, Kitaboshi is kind of on the same line as Mitsubishi and Tombow as far as, like, its origins, because they're all, you know, they're Japanese. Um, again, this is nice, but it really does not feel like a 4B. Um, I would say it actually feels more like an HB. This really does not feel like a 4B to me. Um, I don't know if it's that I'm not pressing dark enough, but I, I mean, I'm pressing pretty dark here, and I'm not getting a ton more out of that. It looks really dark on, on camera, but looking at it in person, it is not as dark. Um, this one I don't expect to be too dark. Um, this is a, uh, just a pink Empire branded pencil. They did, the, uh, Empire made a lot of these, um, kind of like unnamed pencils in various colors i think in the 80s and 90s they did this and uh characteristic of the empire a lot of them were plastic wood um and those pencils typically are not that dark although this one's doing okay so you know not too bad i got that in a lot of vintage pencils on ebay um, this one is a Wallace Invader, um, two and a half, so this is an F grade. Um, yeah, I would say, I would say F is accurate for that, I would say. Um, and then another Empire, one pl a plastic one, this one does have a name, though, this is the Fairmount. So let's give it a go. Again, kind of light, but not bad, not like horrible. Um, I also had got a, a few different ones from India. This is the Dom's Groove Metallico. Um, I love Indian pencils, they're always really dark. Um, yep. And this one's no exception. This one's no exception. Not too scratchy. Yep. 
I love it. All right, um, and then we got this one's a for any '90s kids out there. This is uh, you might know about this. This is the uh, Pentec Grip Sticks. These are I, I've gotten like tons of various different types of these from lots. Um, um, this one's kind of scratchy, but also kind of smooth. Weirdly enough, nice. All right, I'm going through these kind of quick because I got a lot of them here. Um, so this is, this one here is the Lyra Robinson, uh, this is a red capped one, uh, they have a few different grades, I got a set of these, uh, but I'll say, the lead centering on this pencil is horrible, I mean this whole side is useless right here, so, it writes nice, and it's smooth, but probably only because I can't even use that other side, and it's just pressing down. Um, and then we have, this one is kind of cool. This is, I, I bought 12 of these, I bought a box of these, um, on eBay. Um, I probably spent more than I should have on them, but these, these are the Dixon Ticonderoga 1386 number 3, and these are from World War II. Is I think, I believe these are the oldest pencils that I have here. Um... Because if you see the ferrule is made out of plastic versus the metal one uh, ferrule that you see today, um, these are made out of plastic. And uh, I managed to find a box of them um, on eBay. Um, and these these are quite light. Um, they are number three, which is H and. I don't know, I'd maybe more call this a 2H, because it is quite light, but for, um, you know, just about 80-year-old pencils, those are pretty Those are pretty good. Um, and then this one, um, Pueblo Empire Pencil Made in Canada. Um, I got this one with um, a bunch of other pencils that were from Canada, and a lot of them were ones I had never seen before. This one I believe I have seen before. But I got all the pencils from that lot were made in Canada, um, and this was one of them out of it. And uh, this one's good. This one is nice. Very smooth. Feels like a number two to me. Um, yeah, and um, you know these two era these erasers don't work. Um, the grip stick one might. Hold on. Yeah, it does. Sometimes you can get them where they're preserved enough that they'll work but not always um but yeah so th those were some that i've been kind of testing recently um and um i pl i have a little pencil box that i'm gonna put them all in ones that i've recently tested um so i can kind of gauge what i've already looked at um um, just, just nothing special, just like a little basic pencil box. Um, so I have to do more pencil reviews in the future. Um, as I've said, I've kind of got, you know, back into pencils recently. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and, um, catch you in the next one.